Our next chef from the restaurant Barcelona in German Village has been working in Columbus restaurants for over 24 years. He takes pride in his evolving menu, which is renewed weekly but remains close to its Catalan roots. His love and research of Spanish cuisine makes his Spanish fusion restaurant an integral part of the Columbus dining scene. Please welcome Chef Paul Yao. Chef Paul, All right. good to see you again. Oh, thanks, yeah. Bill. Thanks for coming. And uh, we've got a little Catalan pineapple dish that's got fresh fruit, a lot of good sugar stuff, and a torch. We love it. Okay, Paul, yeah, let's gotta go. you've got to bring a toy to play with. Absolutely. Let me get this stove started. All right. Good evening. My wife and I and the owner of Barcelona were in Barcelona, Spain a couple years ago. And on Thanksgiving night, we went to this restaurant on the Olympic Pier called La Fonda. And we had this elaborate meal, big paellas, uh, salt-crusted fish. And for dessert, we ordered this Catalan pineapple. We didn't really know what we were getting. They brought out this platter of fruit with this big pineapple smothered in this custard, glazed with sugar. It was amazing. We knew we had to bring it back to the restaurant. So I'm going to show you through the custard as we've put it together, kind of show you how it winds up. I'm going to try and hurry because I know we're going to get, I tend to run long. I talk too much sometimes. Um, <coughs> so first thing I'm going to do, this is a basic egg and milk custard. I want to get this milk on carefully. They don't want me to make a mess up here. Basically, if you've ever made anything like a pastry cream, this is real similar, a lot of the same ingredients. We've got milk. We're gonna take a little egg, egg yolk, and sugar. And we're gonna beat that up nice and light. So the sugar gets really nice and smooth in the egg yolk. So just a basic custard here, Paul. Right? Just exactly. a basic custard? Yeah. Exactly. Now, one thing that makes this dessert special, my wife, Heron, does all the baking at Barcelona Restaurant. When we came back from Spain and wanted to do this dessert, she really took this to heart and really kind of elevated it. And I'm going to show you how. We've really loved the food in Spain. I've been there three times. Frankly, some of the desserts are a little bit on the simple side, a little plain, and there's nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that. But my wife thought, well, why not spice things up a little? So sometimes a Spanish flan or a Spanish version of a creme brulee or a custard can be just that, eggs, milk, sugar. Well, we introduced vanilla, and my wife went ahead and introduced nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, and star anise. And it sounds like a lot, but she uses a lot of finesse with it, and really the balance with a nice ripe pineapple and those flavors is just amazing. This custard, I'm waiting for my milk to heat up. What I have is some cornstarch here that I've dissolved in milk. I have, again, the four spices, cinnamon, star anise, cardamom, and nutmeg. They've been ground, they've been sifted so they're nice and smooth. And I have a little bit of the inside of a vanilla bean. We scraped out the seeds and we're just mixing that in a little milk so that when it all goes into the custard, it'll be nice and smooth. We also have the grated zest of lemon and orange. So a lot of little flavors kind of combine together there. A couple of the basics when you're making a custard are to always be careful introducing the egg yolk into the milk. So we're gonna heat up the milk, test it a little there. The milk is warm. We're gonna add a little bit into this egg yolk mixture to kind of slowly heat it up. We don't wanna curdle the egg yolks. We're not making scrambled eggs here. We're making a dessert. We already had the breakfast burrito earlier, so. We're gonna whisk that together. Then we're gonna take this back into this little sauce pot. Stir that all in. Then we have our milk and cornstarch, which we've dissolved together. Uh, if you were to dump the cornstarch right in there, you would have just lumps that would sink to the bottom and do nothing. 
and we get that in there. Whisk this all up real nice. You want to stir it a lot. As it begins to thicken, it can stick on the bottom. You don't want that. You get a little bit of these bubbles or scum developing. You just go ahead and spoon those off. Okay. Would you like me to stir a little bit? You got it. Stir okay, away. Let me stir a little bit. And We're we going to add the this pineapple. spice Let's mix. Let's do that. And I knew I'd get to work a little bit tonight. This the is orange so and lemon zest. Yum. Now, while Bill's Good. going to town on that. Yeah, let's do a little pineapple. Nice ripe I gotta pineapple. I got to eat some of this. A nice ripe pineapple. Yum. Should feel heavy for its size, lighter in color. Smell it. Nice and fragrant. Nice pineapple. Speaking of nice and fragrant, this custard is delicious. Cut me off a piece of that, Paul, and <laughs> let me have some of this. This is good. So Yum. we're just going to take the sides off this. We don't want to leave any of these brown spots. Ooh, baby, doesn't that look good oh, already? that's gorgeous. And this is coming together beautifully. Now, all right, let's do one like nice I said, chunk. I tend to talk too much, so I took the precaution. What we're going to do is score this a little, a couple different directions. Okay. We and I uh, went ahead and made some custard ahead of time. Oh, all of my stirring doesn't work? Oh, so, no. No, we need to finish I that. Know. Yeah, well, good. I need to take a bite of this, Paul, and we'll s slip on through here. And we have a little bit of this custard here. Let's do that. We're going to spoon that right on top. I'm going to leave this right here. Little or a lot, if you like a lot. I'll take a lot. Let me have a quick little bite. And really, this custard, mm, yum, yum, yum. you need to stir for about 10 minutes till it gets nice and thick. And any, um, I did too. That wasn't bad. Any starchy uh -oh. taste is done. Uh-oh. Look Let's out, Let's do Bill. this quickly here. We got to do this quickly, Paul. Now, one of the keys to this okay. is you're not looking to destroy this thing. You're nope. looking to just lightly brown the top. Oh, that's so much fun. Just brush the Every tip across. Every home needs one of these. <laughs> Keep the torch away from Bill. He sounds dangerous. Well, I am, but... See, just a little light browning. We're not looking to burn it. That is perfect. Looks good already. All right. A little fresh fruit around. A little fresh fruit. Let me dig in Bill, real quick here. Bill, you're ready. Chef Paul Yao, everybody. Does that look good? Great effort. Oh, yeah. 